Florida. I'm Kellyanne Arnold, and I welcome you to the first debate town hall free for all for two of the 2024 presidential candidates, former President Donald J. Trump and a newcomer from Yonkers, New York, who has been rising in the polls, Vincent Oshana. This debate town hall free for all is sponsored by Minette, where you can connect with experts by the minute. This one-hour debate will feature unbiased, randomly selected questions for our presidential candidates to present their political policies, ideas, and future goals for the American people. Candidates will keep their answers under two minutes, and there will be no interruptions. We will, however, allow audience participation at the end to reflect the voice of the people. So, without further ado, please help me welcome to the stage Republican candidate, President Donald J. Trump, and the unknown political party candidate, Vincent Oshana. How are you? How are you? How are you? Doing very good. Good, 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 good. good handshake. Good guy. That's the famous handshake right there. Okay, thank you, Donald. Thank you very much. It's honored me. Hi, how are you doing, Kelly? I'm terrified. Aren't you guys all Ma'am, 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 please. We I'm will... terrified. We will, yeah, get, we will get to your questions at the end. Get her out of here! Somebody get her out of here! Okay, Such a nasty let's, part. Unbelievable. Let's keep this I can't professional. I can't okay, breathe. take a deep breath, ma'am. Just take ma a deep breath, we will please. We'll get to your questions please. at the end. The first question Thank is you. for Mr. Excuse me. Vincent. Excuse me. Excuse me. What's your name? Kelly? Is it Kelly? Mr. President. I, I saw something. I have to address it, right? We have to address. I got on stage, and I saw you checking me out, and I have to tell you, Kelly. Uh, I'm a married man. Mr. Very President, strong, I was married, not. very strongly. To Melania. Mr. President, I do never not stray. A lot of men stray. I never Don't stray. Mr. President, and I have to president. tell you, I would never be interested I, in. I, I mean, I would never be interested in you. That I can tell you. This is almost like the Rosie O'Donnell rerun. Let's say professional, please. Our first question is for Mr. Vincent Oshana. Why did you decide to run for president? Um, I think one of the main reasons, uh, just from watching, you know, past presidents, just the allure of just, you know. Mr. President, the White House, being in a motorcade, uh, doing this, I've always wanted to be, I don't know what that is, but they always do that. And I the have to tell you, that is true. That is See, I, I appreciate that, Donald. And, uh, Donald and Trump always interrupts. See how he's already interrupting? Yeah, get her out of here. Yeah, she's interrupting. So nasty. So nasty. We'll have, we're going to have the portion where they could, the, the audience could I want get involved. I questions now. Ma'am, okay. ma'am, we will get to your questions, I promise. Yeah. Okay. Audience, please. So, so I just, the and I've always, I don't know what the word means, because, you know, I'm not the brightest star in the sky, but the word, I've always wanted constituents. I don't know what that means, but I like, for instance, Kelly, can you ask me, uh, like, ask me for an answer or something. What are you going to do to improve I, our infrastructure? I'll get back to you after I talk to my constituents. Doesn't that sound like like I know what I'm talking about? And that's why well, I and to be in a bulletproof vehicle and to know that people are trying to assassinate. I mean, that's just it's the best. It's fantastic. The bulletproof is is great. And okay. I, and I will admit the constituents. Right? It just it is that is true. Do you even know what that means? Not like so being true. Honest. It's the people. Oh, it's, it's the, the people. The people, your people, and I have the best people. That I can tell you. Okay. Well, Donald Trump is a threat well, to our democracy. Why is he even on the stage? He's a oh threat to our democracy. Man, please. Okay. And we got Antifa in the crowd. Such a Mr. Mr. Antifa Donald Trump. Antifa is just an idea. Antifa is just an idea. Mr. Donald Trump, why did you? You know, I'm liking decide... Kelly a lot better with this lunatic in the back. Oh yeah. Ms. Kelly, your stock is going up. <laughs> Mr. Donald Trump, why did you decide to run again when America clearly oh, hates you? Over my dead body! He well, belongs in jail! Excuse Trump me. He belongs in jail! Excuse me. Excuse me. You're saying America hates me, but clearly, last week you saw I bought everybody a blizzard. Did you see it? It was all over the news. I said, what the hell is a blizzard? So there's a lot of love. There's a lot he of love. He bought everyone a blizzard. But really, but really, I'm running because I want. I'm running because I want to spite You're those lunatics in the back. The radical left change. Democrats. Can we address something though? You said that you've never. You don't even know what a blizzard is, Donald. You clearly. I mean, you eat McDonald's. You obviously know what a blizzard is. You look like a blizzard. Look, Vincent, Vincent. Yeah. Yes, he does. I, I agree. Like, I agree. You. I like the McFlurry, okay? Okay. McDonald's, great place. Great yeah. place. That I could tell you. And that's and you've never had, so you have had, or you just had one for the first time. I know the menu better than anyone. The blizzard was Get okay. To the was okay. 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 But I like the McFlurry. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, President Trump. Uh, Mr. Oshana, you yeah. recently visited our current president, Joe Biden. Honor. At the White it was an House. honor to see him. You, How many times did he Biden. slip yes. and fall? Joe How Biden. many times? Okay. Joe they Joe won't Biden. show. Oh, the slips Mr. And falls. President, please, you sat with him in the Oval Office. What advice did he give you, and what was your biggest takeaway if you were to become president? Oh. I, uh, I, uh, 
I hate to... She's admit. having an orgasm in the back. Yeah. You brought oh. up Sleepy Joe. No, no, I'm asexual. Mr. Trump, please. Mr. O'Shauna, your answer. Um, and like, well, it's hard to, to admit, but he was actually right. Uh, I met oh. with him in the Oval. Uh, the president walked in. He did slip. He did slip and fall. And then uh, the conversation just for 20 minutes, couldn't keep his head up. He passed. He basically took a nap. But before he did nap, we did talk about ice cream. And his favorite is... Uh, Chocolate, chocolate, and I told him how I tried to say mine uh, is the sherbet rainbow ah. with all the different flavors. The ice it. cream is so rigged. You look at it, he's eating the ice cream. We're looking into it because that ice cream is very rigged. That Joe Biden is the no, I don't even know what that president. means. He cares about black people. You. He made sure that they weren't in racial jungles. Nobody has done more he's saving for them the African Americans. Than me, that I can tell you. President, Trump's President, a white supremacist. Man, Trump please. is a white supremacist, Hitler Nazi. Pre pre President, That's President Trump, can, can, can we even call you that anymore? What do we call you? Trump, Donald, Donnie, Mr. Trump. President? Call him che Trump. Cheeto. They Trump. call him Cheeto once in a while. Orange man. Orange I mean, man in a diaper. People like che Cheetos are good. Orange I'm man in a good. diaper. They're tasty, like me. I say call me president because that's what I am. Okay? No well, you matter how many, okay, okay, you you many times the they indict me, I'm still president. Trump you can never take that away. Trump for 2024. Ms. Trump for prison 2024. Ma'am, thank you. Mr. President, you I did everything cut. right. I'm not a ma'am, by the way. <laughs> thank you. Uh, uh, and uh, they I'm indicted sorry, me. I, I, what pronoun do you prefer? I am uh, they, them right now. The, uh, and it's mix them, mix them. Please, please, please hold your questions for the end, Mr. Mr. President. You've sure. been caught as corrupt with a bathroom full of illegal classified documents. Yes. Your fiasco handling of COVID, yes. a litany of sex scandals yes. and hush money. How are you going to uh, uh, get Americans to trust you again if you become he's president? He's gonna go to bed with Putin. Is what he's well, gonna first do. Off, first off, excuse, ex excuse Putin. me, excuse. I don't know what the they is it them is it what is it what is it. But we handled, we handled the documents perfectly. You look at phone call, it was perfect phone call. And even they text, were illegally, I said perfect text. They were they illegally said never stored seen in diction. your home. Like they, this, what was they, they were illegally they stored in his, they were in his tub, they were in the toilet, he in the back of the toilet. At least Joe of Biden, crimes. at least Joe How Biden had the decency to, to hide keep it. private yes. information confidential for the security of our country? Biden had documents in his garage. Locked, locked in, in his garage. Can. Locked in his garage by his They were corner. covered in egg roll grease. Nobody wants to talk about that. You look at the duck sauce next to the document. I don't even know. It's not I good. Know. There was no duck sauce on Everything my documents. Donald that I can tell Trump you. Trump says is lies. Unbelievable. Oh his so, documents are covered in crack, that I can tell you. They're yeah. finding a lot of crack turning up all over the place, if you look at the numbers. Speaking, speaking of drugs, Mr. Roshana, you've been very open in your campaign about your past indiscretions and your drug use. Yes. If There's been a lot. How are, how are you Relax. going to balance your recovery efforts along with running the country when you become president? Um, there's actually no recovery because I've never stopped. I never said that I stopped doing drugs. I feel like... Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm on um, peyote right now. I, Aren't we I don't, all on you peyote? Get, yeah. We're all I, on peyote. Uh, <laughs> you get, you get Dave, fa please. You can fact, you can fact check me on this. Uh, I think 80 percent, or I think 85 percent of Americans uh, dabble in drugs. They experiment with drugs, and I feel like if I'm going to be a president of true. the people, I have to act like the people. And I still. Drugs for all. I actually, I'm a microdosing on. Donald Trump, we have to take drugs. I she mean, does, she actually does have a point. I'm actually microdosing as we speak right now, so it's a little, I'm a little out there, but like I said, I'm all for the people. At least I'm, I'm being upfront and honest. You're not going to see me lie hormones? or fight. Hormones? Are you going to give us all hormones too? No. Uh, for free, please. Hormones uh, for the children. I'll look, I mean, I'll look into that. I don't know how you can give somebody hormones, but I'll, I'll definitely look into that if I, if elected. Thank you for your answer, Mr. Oshana. Uh, Mr. President, in regards to drugs, you've said you've never done any ever. He's on as diet you, coke. As you know, you guys don't know he's on diet coke. Excuse Excuse me. Three lines a day Somebody get her out of here. I mean, this is this is such a lines. three fentanyl, against one. Three fent against one. Fentanyl is coming in over the border. We have an opioid em epidemic. How do you feel about a possible president coming into the White House, being the first person to openly bring drugs sure, into the sure, Oval Office? Sure. Well, it's a horror. Then drugs pouring through our border and straight into the White House. And Vincent said he's throughout his life, 
He's done drugs, and you look at that face, it's somebody who's done a lot of drugs. You can just tell by looking at people. You see his face, they say, that's a guy who's done a lot of drugs. Trump is drunk but on I never misogyny. Touched, Trump I never touched drunk a drug in my misogyny. life. Never touched a drug. He's She's talking about, on mis sweetheart, we're on drugs. Misogyny's He's coming up next. Unbelievable. This is a seriously low IQ person. Actually, I actually Such do, a dog. I want to hear, hear this. I don't. I want to call her a dog, but can you... You were talking about but me I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, never touched a drug. You know, I caught Baron with vape. Diet Coke. I caught Baron with vape. 18 Diet Coke And today. I said, Baron, this is not, it's not good. So I took him on a drive to the inner cities. We look at the inner cities, a lot of the people, African, American, and they all love me. They say, you gave me so many no jobs. No one loves you. And I said, Baron, look out that window. And you see people on all Black sorts of heroin. Trump. PCP, they're all over the place. They're leading around. They're crapping in the streets. And what I said, Baron, talking about? it all started with vape. He's just rambling and, and rambling. And he never touched the vape Trump again. Look at this ramble. woman. Unbelievable. He's Actually, just what? rambling. He's just doing his narcissistic ramble. They, this is what I have please, to do. Can with. you please, I want to hear this. I, I like to hear this. So you were talking about drugs and me and... And, and also, look at this. By the way, you talk about Hunter. You saw Hunter on the balcony, that beautiful balcony. And you see him... Sweating. I never seen so much sweat. People say it was like R. Kelly we at a Girl Scout meeting. You see Hunter, he's out there. I'll do act out. We call it act out. He's he was doing a lot of things with his jaw. Is it there, was not there's good. There's no proof that he's on was on drugs. Well in actually, that video. Kelly, I have exclusive footage from some very strongly, very bigly people in the Secret Service. They got me a tape from CCTV from the Oval Office, from the West Wing. You can call it the West Wing. You can call it whatever you want, but it's of Hunter. Wait, he's gonna show. You're gonna show. That's not. That's, we have a clip. Is this, a, Wait, hold is on. this approved? Absolutely. I'm, whether it's approved or not, we're gonna show it. Okay. That's how, that's how we get results. So that's how you get results. So what are you saying? What are you saying that we're about to watch? I don't know what we're about to watch. Vincent, we have a clip that I've obtained Cut exclusively to premiere on your show. Turn this from off. Turn CCTV off. and that lunatic it's doesn't lies. want you to see it. It's of Hunter. He's it's with Hooker. Lies, He's with Gun. Okay. It's He's lies. with prostitute. Mr. President, it's our lies, producer America. says we have the video. We, we will play it. And you guys are gonna let him show oh, the video. We will play You're it. Gonna, okay. Vindicated. I'm vindicated by Kelly. All right, I, like to, I I want to see this. What is that? There we go. That's the White House. I know it very well. Okay. Oh. That's, there he is, Hunter. You see the gun. You see, laptop, he loves laptops, this guy. Laptops is, all over the place. A lot of, oh, see, the cocaine. That? It's like a Scarface film, but it's not. It happens to be true, and it's in the Oval. And, Excuse me, the West Wing. It's in the West Wing. Look at that. Oh, my God. That's really Hunter Biden. That's Hunter. And look, he's running away. They hear, he's hiding behind the flag. I hug the flag. He hides behind it. And that's supposedly that Secret Service. There he is. And that's, this is a fact that that's Hunter Biden. It's a great guy. That's the guy who got me the tape. Oh my God. He's a patriot, he loves his country. He loves his country. And then, oh, there's, there's the, hooker. the hooker crawling out from under, she spends a lot of time on her knees, that I can tell you. That's how she was able to crawl so oh fast without rug burn. Oh, he got the laptop. He got the laptop, but he left the blow. Wow. 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 Gentlemen, gentlemen, that's, can I say one thing though? I know we allowed that, but. How does make you feel? That was I mean, Russian first of all, such a disgrace. Russian. Such a disgrace, that tape was such a horror. That and Kelly, and I know it, and you know it, whether you'll admit it or not, you know it deep down, Kelly, you know it's bad. It's even Vincent, Russia. and Vincent, we all admit, he's been in and out of rehab. Even he admits it. That was, that was I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, that does look really, really bad. I don't know if we could verify President, that that actually was, I mean, it no, looked like Hunter Biden, AI but that's pretty. from Russia. What? Uh, oh, man. Uh, what? President Biden is a father first, first of all, and uh, a president, president second. So as president, what would you do to address our opioid crisis? I think he's a corpse first, then father, then president, in that order, oh that I can tell you. I think, I think when it comes, like I, well, like when it comes to drugs, I think experimenting and letting the, you know, the youth experiment and try, but with, with supervision from their parents. I know, Donald, you said nobody, you even told your kids there's a video where you say, no drugs, no tattoos, no, Drinking, no but drinking, no smoking. That's, but they, but you don't agree with that them. That was the extent of my parenting. Yeah, but they don't. Melania did everything else. Ivana, everybody. But I said no drinking, no smoking. So you don't endorse no marijuana in college or nothing for them. Yes, it all it gets in the way of doing beautiful deals, and big beautiful deals. That mm. is time for this topic, uh, Mr. Oshana. Mm. Oh, it's, it's actually Vinny. What? Yeah. 
Vindy, you can call me Vindy if There's you want. There's so I'm much single. toxic masculinity oh, on that God. Now she's gonna get. Now she's going to get on my nose. I'm actually what single too. What am I doing here? I'm single for anybody in the audience as well, so that's... Nobody wants yeah. you. Uh, oh, okay. Straight out of okay. Central okay. Cast. Oh, all right, all yeah. right, Vinny. Yeah. Uh, actually, if you'd win, you'd be our first unmarried president uh, the country's ever had. And a, be and a beard. Ulysses S. Grant had a beard, too, so I'd be the first bearded... Not I, married, I, no kids. I see. Yeah. Uh, people I'm have almost been a little jealous. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate I'm that, Donald. You, you Thank said you. you're single. People have been asking about your sexuality. So, are, are, oh, so you're saying they? So you're insinuating they're insinuating that I'm that I'm gay? The American people would like to know whether okay, you're well, fluid or not. Okay. Well, guess what? I'm 100% not gay. Oh. Uh, I have done I have done some crazy stuff in the past, you know. But you know, college is. People do crazy stuff uh, in college. Mr. Oshana, you didn't go to college. But you know what I mean? I was young and I was dumb and you know the saying, I don't want to finish the rest of it on a presidential debate, but young, dumb, and full of gun. <laughs> Jesus uh, Christ. Gentlemen, please. He's not presidential. Look at that. I, I didn't want, listen, I didn't want to say it, but somebody had to say it. Uh, oh, it might as well be me. What yes, are Vinny. your thoughts on the whole trans movement? Um, I personally think, um, you know, kids are going to experiment. Kids are going to do what they want if they're... You know, if they're gay, let them go for it. If they want to, you know, change, let them change. I, I, you know, pretended I was Superman when I was a kid. And I would wear a robe and jump off of uh, couches and stuff. And my parents were all for it. I think kids should have the choice to do whatever they want. I see you looking at me. I know a lot about the trans people, okay? Perhaps more than anyone. I can tell you the first one was in the early 90s, in Mrs. Doubtfire. That was the first trans. Back that was then, it was all fun and games. There's a trans and now, genocide. Now it's become. There's a trans genocide. Sc ex Donald excuse Trump, me, excuse me. Donald Trump is killing trans people. Now it's become a total fad. When Robin Williams did it, it was all fun and games, right? Now everybody, it's like to be cool, right? That was a movie, though, Donald. That wasn't I a don't real think trans. It's to be cool. He dressed Mr. up President. so his. There's a lot of kids doing it. There's li little boys, little boys. They see trans That's on television. That's how they identify. When I was Mr. a kid, President. eight year old boys, they said, let's play kickball. Now, little boys, they say, Mom, Dad, I want a BBL. What's a BBL? I say, What's a BBL? They say, I want a Brazilian butt lift. Eight year old boys, this is sick. <laughs> this is sick. I say, let's sick, take Donald it back Trump. to You're playing sick, kickball. Donald let's take Trump. it back to kickball, right? So, do we love kickball? The audience loves kickball. No. Yeah, I'm pretty we sure miss they kickball do. so strongly. So, Donald, you don't have, like, what would you say if one of your kids, like Baron, just out of nowhere was like, Dad, I'm, you know, I'm confused, I'm gay, and I want to be a, I want to be a trans. Baron is gay. Well, Baron would never do that. Baron would never do that. I did have a gay fifth cousin. He said he was gay, and then he went to Europe. He never came back, and that's okay. That's but, weird. But uh, that's the extent of gayness in the Trump family that Everything I can tell you. Everything he says is lies. Oh man. Donald Trump is full so of true. lies. It's America. so true. It's so true. Uh, Mr. Oshana, um, yeah. if elected, um, there's rumors at inauguration that you would identify I actually, differently. Actually, that you, you're you're spot on. I I uh, I'm, I'm pro woman. Pro, pro everything that um, thank you very much and uh, I figured since I'm such a supporter of the trans movement if and when I I get the nomination become the president at the inauguration at the swearing in I'm gonna transition and self-identify as a woman to be the first oh, female wonderful. president of the United States thank you how wonderful. it all America, seems so out. fitting it all seems so fitting what do you mean out. I mean that seems like something you would do oh okay I look at that I look at you and I say that's somebody who might Transition, right? We call it transition. Yeah. But I gotta tell you, I have a tremendous relationship with the L, G, B, T there's community. But I gotta you, tell you, you I have Q. a better relationship. You forgot the Q forgot and the Q. T and the plus. There's so many. The, the plus. The plus. All, all, the, the all the all the all the all the all the all the letters. It's two S L G B T Q. Excuse me, all the letters except for that two one. Two S L G B T Q plus. But I gotta tell you, I have You're a lot better relationship out. with the G's than I do with the L's. I never met an L who liked Trump. Really? Never did. Why is that? Now, I don't, I don't like know. Him. It's like I'm an L repellent in some way. I don't know. Oh man. And listen, I and who is the young lady? Like, did we even find out her name? Who's been screaming? Uh, uh, and I, excuse me, young lady. I am. I don't identify as a woman. You're mispronouncing me. I apologize, but I mean, I like, like, I just, to, just to prove to you, to prove to the world, all the audience that are watching that I'm so pro woman and so if I, I don't have a running mate. I like her attitude and the way she's, she's not afraid to fight back. What was your name, ma'am? Uh, Luna X. 
activist, teacher, I'm asexual, Luna, I identify as, I don't really feel like a woman or a man, I could be both. So, so. they, if, if I just say they, and if it's all right with you, because he got to, he got to break some of the rules and show a video. Uh -huh. If it's okay, I'd like to bring up Luna. This if you is if you don't mind oh. being this is so rigged. This is this debate is so rigged. I don't think it's it three is. against one and really four if you look uh, at the they. She I, counts I, as two I people. Pat, three. Luna, I don't know. Luna can you give a round of applause, everybody? Luna, can you please I come on stage? Up next I can to him. take. No, I you can come take out anybody. You can come stand next to me. Can you guys give a round of applause for Luna? Give a round of applause, please. There she goes. Up here, uh, I'm, I'm vaccinated. Uh, if if I don't, uh, excuse me, I need six feet, please. I'm She's vaccinated. going on about the China six virus. Feet. It ended uh, a long time uh, ago. The China uh, virus. Uh, I, I can tell feet. you. I'm vaccinated. Uh, okay, booster. three feet. That's okay. okay with the CDC. But if I don't make it out here alive, please give my dog Fidel to communist China. Okay. That would be the best place for him. M M Mr. Oshana, you've yep. just announced on on live television that you've uh, you're. Vice President Running Mate is going to be Miss Luna, teacher activist. Mix, mix, please. Mix, mix Luna, teacher. Mix uh, yes, thank Luna. you. Mix I Luna. Deeply apologize. Last name Tick. Yes, Miss Mix Luna. Uh, speaking of pronouns, uh, uh, children are going to be one of the main focuses of the 2024 election. Uh, Republicans are accusing the left of brainwashing kids um, with sex, oh. gender, and ideology, and racism, with CRT. Um, if elected, what actions would you take regarding this issue? Well, we're not brainwashing children. I think children should be exposed to uh, male genitals and nut sacks and drag queens. See, you and heard it right there from the radical uh, left, straight from the radical that's left. That's not I radical. Want children children to that be means, exposed to nut sex. Oh, no, uh, uh, I mean, you don't have Such nut a sex. Horror. We all know Donald Trump doesn't have nuts down there. I, I mean, have tremendous uh, nuts, uh, no, 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 nuts uh, like we've never seen. Uh, Mr. President. A lot of trans uh, people have wanted I'm my nuts. Speaking, they say, I want his I'm nuts. Like in a Dominican Mr. barber Mr. shop President. when they pick out Ms. a haircut. They I'm say, I want speaking. those nuts. Mr. President. I'm not giving them up. Believe Mr. me. President. Believe me, Kelly. I, can I get a word in? This man is such a misogynist. Why do I have to be up here with him? He needs to leave. And, and that American flag, too. Both of them. Gone. These people are you, sick. You, 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 you think I'm we should not have American flag, right? Because I can't run with you if we, you I mean, know, have gonna, American we, flags everywhere and stuff. We, Those we, are very we, offensive. We Miss, talk about it. Mix Luna. Uh, the movie Sound of Freedom just came out and it brings attention to sex trafficking, specifically of children. Again, staying on the topic of our kids in America. How do you feel about that situation? Oh, what, and I, what, what station is this? Uh, Sound of Freedom is a QAnon conspiracy theory. I, what am I doing even up here? I mean, what, what kind of I, channel is this? Uh, agree, you guys I, are spreading QAnon conspiracy theories. Yeah, sure. Because I, I, I feel like, I, would, I think you, were, you mentioned it while you were over there screaming about how they're housing them and they're giving them food and they get... Oh, the oh, yeah. You, oh, I mean, oh, you mean the right-wing extremist view of human trafficking, which mm -hmm. is actually providing well, homes Well, first for off, let me cut you off there. I saw the film. I saw the film. Great job made by Jim Gavizel, who did a great job playing... Jesus, who, by the way, I Why believe in... Why are we even he, letting he, talk. he did not play Jesus in this Yes, movie. he did. Not in this movie, but Don't in another one. Don't you have another one. indictment? And I, I'm a very strongly a Christian person. I believe we call him Christ Where's died on Stormy the cross. Where's Stormy Daniels? I mean... For me, for people are, like me to go on and here? make America great again. But it was a great film, and it exposed a lot, a lot. And uh, people like her, but go on. I'll let them expose themselves. Go on. Well, first on, of all, Make America it. Great Again is a white supremacist state saying, and I don't know why you keep saying that. It's basically calling to all the Nazis and Proud Boys and QAnon Such conspiracists. Such a disgrace. So many lies. And, uh, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I think that this right-wing myth of human trafficking is actually just people providing homes for children like the Clintons. I'm sure they've provided wonderful homes for all the black kids in Haiti. I mean, they just have to work all day, but that's better than where they were living. She's, she's right, actually. And Oprah, o Oprah opened up a school in, like, Africa and had a bunch of kids there. Yeah, and you know, and, and there's nothing all... wrong with having children walk around in underwear in your household that aren't your own. Well, she's uh, conveniently uh, leaving out the fact that Oprah's school, there was sexual abuse, and she's talking about Oprah's that, my hero. the black kids, the brown kids. As I stated before, nobody... Perhaps even more than Abraham Lincoln. I've done more for the African Americans than Abraham Lincoln. And I, I, I want to give everybody jobs. I want to give every excuse excuse me. 
I want to give every. I want to give everyone jobs. He's full and, of lies, Donald Trump. She wants mixed, them to be sold into sexual slavery. It's mixed, not good. But I would free them again. I would free uh, them so Luna, strong. Even stronger uh, than Abe Lincoln did. That I can tell you. Children is a sexuality. It would, and it would to honestly be, be an honor mixed, to mixed, free mixed, the mixed, slaves mixed, again. Mixed because Luna, some people. attracted people, and they also have a place in society as well. Minor attracted people. Yeah. That's mixed mixed Luna. Some 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 Supporting Republicans pedophilia. say that this is called pedophilia. Yes. Mr. Oh President. well, we should just erase that word. <laughs> well, I, I, you don't think that's true? No, I mean children can give consent. I mean children can change Under their the gender age of when 18. they're young, and they can also give consent for sexual things. I mean, we really need a free society. Okay. Free the nipple, by the way. Free the nipple. Mm -hmm. We're out of time on this topic. Such uh, a such a horror. Such a horror. Such a. They want to kill the babies, but the ones that make it, they want to rape them. It's a horror. Mi mi mix. Mix, Mix Luna, you just mentioned about how Make America Great Again is a, a racist, a, a not appropriate term Nazi for our country. Cry, yes. How do you cry. feel about the American flag? Uh, I think the American flag is very offensive. It is basically represents a country that's been white supremacist and, 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 and it shouldn't belong in our classrooms. Children shouldn't have to uh, do a weird pledge to it. And whenever I hear the Pledge Miss of Allegiance, I always just turn around and throw a fist like oh, this. Unbelievable, awesome. unbelievable. We love our flag. She does the fi I hug the flag. Look at me hugging the flag. Yeah. We've seen that one before. Yeah, I love it. That's just I love you it's flag. monkey that's a, trick. That's I a monkey trick. Flag so strong. That's a full monkey off. trick. That's a full, yes. that's that's just to show that he yeah, I can Donald I can do that Trump too. Donald Trump right there. We there love you that go. Flag. Trump. Okay, looks like he's, the flag. Yeah, and he's talking about gays. He looks like he's masturbating two gay people, not yeah. to be uh, but, let's stay professional, ladies okay. and gentlemen. Just saying. Yeah, uh, Trump Trump does not know how to be professional. He does not I mean look at him. Prison. Look at you. You're I mean, look at you. Like Talk about look at me. I'm How very handsome. How many Diet Cokes have you had today? Excuse me? How many Diet Cokes have you had today? I know you it's left a great drink. It's a White great House. drink. It's got caffeine. Something that I think, I think, I don't know, I don't know what she's on, but it's not caffeine. I, th I think it's something a little stronger, something Hunter level that I could tell you. But it's not good. And I think I'm winning this debate. I don't think I'm winning. Mr. 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 President, uh, who is a greater enemy to the United States of America, Russia or China? Well, I have uh, to Donald say, Trump. I have to say, you Donald look at, Trump you, is the greatest of enemy to the American people. You look people. at the He's tariffs. You look at what we democracy. did. You look at the virus. The virus. Where did it come from? It didn't come the from Russia. The virus is your fault, Donald it Trump. It wasn't the Russia virus. It was the China virus. You are the and ones that's where that came led it into from. the country. You caused 250,000 people to die while you were president. What Perhaps you, we should have sent her to, to China, right? That? We shut down travel. I said, let's her put her on a plane and bring her to China, just like the Bushes did with the Bin Ladens. But they sent them away. I said, send her away. See, not America. He wants to get rid of black people and and, and those that identify as uh, a non-binary. I already told sexual. you, I love black people. I freed Kodak you Black. Just you just said look you at want the numbers. to leave. I freed you all the rappers. To... That is very Little Wayne. We call him Little Wheezy. I got them all out of jail. Speaking of jail. Uh, there has been, since 1980, the U.S. prison population has grown by almost 800 percent. How would you address uh, crime in the United States? Abolish all prison Well, systems. it's very simple. You look at Biden, the crime bill. He specifically labeled crack a higher penalty than the cocaine. And crack has typically historically been used more by the African Americans. I don't know why that is, but black people seem to like crack. White people seem to like coke, but his own son was doing crack. So look at that. And then me, me. Joe the Biden guy, just want to provide. The guy that just, people he, said Joe Biden just was racist. I got them all out, and you look Excuse at the people. Excuse me, I'm speaking. You Joe at, Biden just wanted to provide safe homes for black people. That's why he did the crack, the crack laws. Safe homes. He wanted to make sure Locked that every away black in man, a cage. Locked that every away black in a cage. man in America had a place to sleep and food to eat. That's why he did the crack laws. This is such a spin doctor. She should have her own show on MSDNC, because that's what you are. It's a horror. I would it's love that. Can they call me? I but, don't like being here, but, that's for sure. But in all in all in all fairness though, wouldn't you as as the audience, this is Kamala has no idea what she's doing. That's the type of vice president that we need that gets in the I gotta space. I gotta tell you, being on a stage with her is the worst place I've ever been in my life. And I've been indicted. 
Mis uh, Mr. Okay. Trump, you have been indicted, I believe, several times now. So it, it, now that you've addressed how you would handle crime in America, how would you address our issues with national security, our open borders? Would you try to build uh, the wall Trump again? Trump is not going to get reelected. He is going to be in prison. Well, Trump first off, prison. in fact, I am going to have the most sexual satisfaction when you are in excuse jail. Excuse me, you cut you cut your parts off. You can't have sexual satisfaction uh, if you no, cut them off. No, actually, I can. When you're you in prison, you I've been holding you, it in. You can't feel anything with an elbow. Oh, my elbow is down there. They took, they put the elbow. How would you handle the refugees garage? then? I would tell you first off, I feel like I made being indicted cool, right? Because prior to my indictments, people, it was a bad thing. It was a bad thing. You heard John got indicted. Uh-oh, we don't want to see John at the gas station. You pretend you didn't see him. Ever since I got indicted, my poll numbers have gone up. I mean, I, you saw me at the, what was it? Shake Shack. Shake Shack. I got everybody a blizzard. There were more blizzards post-indictment handed out than pre-indictment. How do you figure that out? How do you? And I also did great in jail. I had multiple bitches. In the cafeteria, in the cafeteria, everybody was air. giving me that cornbread. It was terrific. I mean, listen to him. He's and I was only there for an hour. They had tears in their eyes. Mr. Trump, are you not Mr. Concerned? President, we don't want to do this. And are I you said, not concerned? it's okay, because I'm going to beat the charges. Are and you, we're going to fix it. Are you not concerned at all about uh, your your competitors, DeSantis and Suarez? Oh, and DeSantis. DeSantis. DeSantis is more like it. Uh, I think we found something you both agree on. You know, uh, I don't agree with him on what? anything. I don't know. No, I mean, I'm just. I, 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 both of them should belong in prison. He's a dishonest guy. He was down 30 points, and he came to me. He he crawled. He crawled to me, with tears in his eyes. He crawled. He said, "Mr. Trump, Mr. President, could you please, could you please endorse me?" And I look down on him, and I mean way down, because I'm a tall guy, a lot taller than him. He's wearing high heels. Look into it. Google it. And I said, Rob. And he said, that's not my name. My name is Ron. And I said, OK, Ron, I'll endorse you. And then he won. And he won with numbers they've never seen. But now he's running against me. You know, I was at an Italian uh, restaurant I'll last night. For, I'll, I'll vote for the Satan over Donald Trump. I was at an Italian restaurant Trump. last night with Anyone Sal Greco right Trump. back there. Roger Stone's right hand I mean, guy. listen to him rambling And I ordered like a, a meatball and I made a joke, right? We call it a joke. I said, wow, I ordered your governor. And he laughed, and I laughed, and the people laughed. His He's girlfriend just laughed. Lovely young lady, on like a maniac. It I... was terrific. Then, 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 Miss Mix Luna, I have a question for you. What would you do differently than Joe Biden if you're representing the Democratic Party? Oh, I wouldn't do anything differently than Joe Biden. I was just, I would just continue his mission to just make America. And Joe wonderful. Biden doesn't well, do I, anything. I He's mean, dead. He, uh, Joe Biden is the uh, brought decency to the White House. Uh, he, uh, you know, that, that, right. everyone's saying there was coke in the White House. That's misinformation. It was actually left over by Donald Inflation Trump. It was, his Donald, it was his diet coke that was left over. And uh, uh, yeah, I really think that uh, Joe Biden has done a wonderful job. He's, he, the economy is stronger than ever. And um, yeah, I, 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 I and he's. Uh, Did he you has, hear that? There's uh, a real American patriot, Sal and, Greco. He can't afford gas. And Biden, he wakes up in the morning. He and, drinks his and, breakfast because he can't eat salad me, foods. I'm speaking. I can I mean, eat salad Donald foods. Trump Even they, them, can eat salad foods. Biden, they blend his breakfast. His wife, Jill, that's another beauty. Elder abuse. Doctor, it's Dr. Jill. Doc yeah, doctor. Dr. Freeze from Batman. Not good. They blend up his breakfast. They give him a straw. Biden goes... <laughs> He drinks his breakfast, then you have an Why intern, have an intern, her? a I... young lady, perhaps your age, maybe even younger. She scribbles some notes. They push him out there. They say, Biden, if you mess it up, we're going to put cigarettes out on you. And he's like, oh, I'm sorry, I promise. Then he goes, he messes up again. He comes back, they punish him in ways that I don't even want to mention. He goes back to sleep, and then you got cackling Kamala. There's another beauty. You ask anything, you ask anything. What's your favorite food? <laughs> Such a disgrace. Mr. President, uh, you mentioned oil. Uh, how would you handle our current climate change crisis? He brought blizzards. blizzards? Just last week, he was with blizzards. I think, I think he was talking about the... No, the, no, no, there was blizzards. No, no, he's, he's talking about the, no, he's talking about the drink, blizzards. the ice cream drink from... Uh, no, that Dairy was... Because climate change is for nerds. Can we talk about that? It's for nerds. What do you mean? You what? I've never met a cool change. person who was concerned with climate change. We just had, on 4th of July, oh, the record hottest day in known history. Trump's fault. How We've had you? some hot days. We've had some cold days. You're having a cold day right now. 
Wow. It's Mr. okay. Wow. It's okay. We're all going to die in you 10 years. You can see blood coming of out of her Trump. eyes, blood coming out of her wherever. We have 10 years left if we don't do change. Megan right Kelly, now. Megan Kelly. Don't listen Mr. to this man. President, please. Please what? How would you address climate change? I'd say we're going to do what we did, and it was great. And we were winning big, and people like Sal back there, he was able to drive to work and not go broke. His kids didn't have to starve. And under Biden and this person, this crazy lunatic over here, uh, things are not going me. so hot. That I can tell you. Mixed Luna activist. Like we stopped, I mean, the Biden uh, administration stopped fracking and all that stuff. And I think, I think that's a fantastic. I fracked so strongly. It was unbelievable. I don't know how much longer I could be up here right now. I, I'm getting really uncomfortable. I, I feel like I might it's be okay. uh, catching COVID. Oh, um, okay. Well, what about the, I mean. <laughs> We How? were fracking and fracking, and the people uh, would come to me, Mr. President, we're fracking so much, we're sick of fracking. And I said, no, we're going to frack more, and we're going to keep fracking until the price of gas is down to one cent. And then I'm going to say, no, we're going to frack even more. And that's what I do. Mix Luna, how would you handle the border? Well, I think that we should have open borders, uh, unlike this man right here who built the wall that is extremely racist and white supremacist. I think that we should have open borders and whoever wants to come into America should come in and, and just enjoy this country. Um, I like when uh, we need to get rid of all of the, the people that are white supremacists and replace them with people that love this country and will uh, do all of our a hard labor on our fields and all of our clean our toilets mm -hmm. and um, um and so uh, he wants to shut that all down so that we don't have anyone to clean our toilets and i'm just really uh really upset about the wall and i think we should get rid of the wall thank you thank you mix luna president trump are you <laughs> still in touch with stormy daniels well, are look, we well, looking well, look, forward excuse, to more excuse scandals me. in the future? I want to address what she just said concerning the wall. What? Yeah, and I and I would like to I like to uh, answer after he after you Absolutely. say Absolutely, you have two minutes. So yeah. you look at it. We built the big beautiful wall. We had 200 miles of wall, but we couldn't finish. And now we're going to come back. And it's going to be sequel. But with sequel, the sequel always needs a few new characters, something interesting, a plot line that didn't happen in the first. So I'm officially introducing on Vincent's show, on this debate, that I'm putting a mall inside the wall. So we're gonna have a, a mall, a 2,000 mile wall. Excuse me, mall. And you'll oh. see, we're thinking of putting theme parks, you're gonna have a roller coaster. The kids will be begging, Mom, Dad, I wanna go to Wall Land. Oh. It'll be the new Disney. I will do a lot better than Disney, that I can tell you. Look into it. Walt, he didn't love the Jews. I love the Jews. My daughter, Ivanka, Jew. Um, we're going to build it, and we're going to let in Jews, unlike Walt Disney. You go to Disney, if you're Jewish, if you have a yarmulke, they turn you Mr. away at Disney Mr. World. President, it's not right. Uh, Mr. President, how would you propose... My granddaughter, my Orthodox Jewish granddaughter, didn't, they didn't let her in Epcot. <laughs> Mr. President, how would you propose <laughs> funding Maniac for rants. this huge wall and mall <laughs> and and uh, theme park? I would, because it, it's going to pay for Wait, itself. I'm it's sure, going to yeah, pay for exactly. itself. You have Mexico, had several gonna, bankrupt some other businesses. How would it's you gonna, and I always come back, just yes. like I'm going to come back as president. But the wall is going to pay for itself. Over okay? my dead body, you're coming back as president. Such yeah. a disgrace. <laughs> Yeah, and, and, and can, I, can I mention something about the wall as well? Yes, Mr. O'Shauna, you have to I minutes. say, and piggybacking off of, of what Luna said, I'm, John, I'm pretty sure you eat Mexican food. You, you, you like Mexican food? Best taco bowls at Trump Grill at Trump Tower. Okay, so, yeah. And, and the employees, I'm assuming that they're Mexican? They're very Mexican. Okay, I don't know if there's a, there's a ratio. Anyway, if I say... Well, they I don't use like, words like, uh, like um, essay and stuff. Okay, um, I think we have to keep the border completely wide open. Because all those restaurants, Trump, Trump Grill, is that the name of it? Well, you're going to pay for that. Well, what I'm saying is we have to have Mexicans. Pay for gas, and then we got to pay for illegals, too? No, well, and, and here we go with the illegals. The, would you rather have illegals? Here's my question to the audience now. Would you bills rather and have gas? illegals with good Mexican food or just some white guy named Stan making your burrito, which is going to taste horrible? So I say open the border, 
Mexican food will, is going to take a hit. But Vincent, they come through my big, beautiful door. We call it a big, beautiful door in the wall, and that's how those legal Mexicans are going to come. But what about, so, we, we, you're, so you're saying the wall will have a mall and then a roller coaster. I agree with the roller coaster because that could have Mexicans coming over easier. Yes, with, they'll get, that will be their first entry into the United States, a big roller coaster, and then they'll go and they'll work at Trump Grill and we'll I, all win. We'll I, all win. I, I Mr. Do, President, nothing. this sounds like another failed can, project can on I your say, behalf. Can I say one thing, Kellyanne? And, uh, I think so much I, hatred in Kelly's heart, I must say. Oh, man. So it's much not hatred. realistic. I think I we well, have here, no actual policy uh, approval for Can I this. give an idea? Because I know, Donald, you want the mall on the wall. I don't know if that's the name that you called it. Kelly was the girl in kindergarten telling all the other kids, Santa's not real. Santa's not oh real. Oh, my God. I don't know about that, but... There I, really is no Santa Claus. Do you hear Donald Trump's Yes, there is, actually. I've met him. I have an idea, Donald. And I mean, being coming from reality TV and all the shows that you did, um, I think, because you're saying entertainment to have um, the mall on the wall and, and uh, what is it, what do you care, an amusement park. I recommend having something called, like, you know the American Idol's a show? Why don't we have Immigration Idol at the border? Ryan so, Seacrest came in legally, by the way. People yeah, don't 100%. know that. He was from Canada. So, so Donald, I mean, uh, and Kelly, and to the audience, Immigration you... Idol at the border, whatever you're coming in, you cut grass, you make burritos, we have a competition, and if you're in the top 10, we let those Mexicans in. You're I think proposing that... a competition to have A competition, because hey, don't we want the best people the in this country? I like Vincent. I might choose him as my VP. I like this guy. This guy's got some Who? great ideas. Thank President. You. you gotta stop hanging out with lunatics like that. They bring you down. Mr. President, on the issue of Vice President, uh, who, if you... They say... thems of a feather flock together. That I could tell you. Uh, actually, who? I'm asexual. I do have a current pronoun change right now. It's a air, a air. A air, please. Uh, it's a an update. Uh, you know, with asexual, we we sometimes go between male and female, and right now it's a air. So asexual meaning you don't ha you don't like you're not. No, I'm not. I'm no. I'm male. I'm male or female. Oh. I I'm not really feeling like I'm either. So I'm oh. doing a pronoun update uh, currently right now because. Uh, I'm feeling very oppressed up here. Uh, this is getting very uncomfortable. Oh, you know, I mix, hate mix, mix, Luna, speaking of oppressed, uh, oppressed people, there are several uh, issues with minority classes here in America. How, what do you think the future president should do to fix the oppression? Um, I think that right now we need to make sure we're teaching young people that white people are the oppressor and that black people are oppressed and I really like the idea of reparations. I think that black people should get five like in million, San Francisco. Five million dollar checks. And also, uh, it would be nice if we could all live inside of all the white people's mansions in this country. President Trump, your response. You know, I'm gonna quote an old joke by a comedian. We call him Chris Rock. He said, when I was a kid, pronoun people, they came to school a little bit early. They left on a little ass bus just in case they started acting pronoun-y, they would only hurt other pronoun people. And I think we need to bring that back. Uh, it's very offensive that you're calling us pronoun people. We are human beings, and you need to acknowledge the humanity in us. You want me to do the Chris Rock impression? Be like, they went to school on a little ass bus just in case they started acting a little more pronoun-y. That they was, wouldn't hurt the regular he's kids. Had way too many wow, guys what a great today. Chris Rock impression. Look, not, Kelly's amazed. That was actually Kelly's pretty good. Amazed. I'm not gonna lie, that was actually pretty good. Thank wow. you. I had no idea he Look could do that. Look at that crowd. Wow. That's that was very. People impressive. don't know what I'm capable of, like things like building a mall in a wall with a roller coaster. I love that. That's and actually it, pretty. And lower, lower gas prices. Yeah. We're gonna lower gas prices and we're gonna bring testosterone back up. You've got 20 year olds. They can't get it up. It's sick. They don't know because they're hanging out with this person. They don't know. They don't know. Sal's got Mr. testosterone. Mr. Though. President, I would like to address some of your scandals. Uh, are you still in touch with Stormy Daniels? Horseface. <laughs> Is that yeah. a yes? Don uh, Donald Trump and Stormy, Stormy Daniels had an affair, and um, she said that he, that he is very not well endowed. We all know that very well. Uh, pre that pre his she, uh, she, penis looks like a mushroom. She did say it looks like a mushroom, like a toadstool, like what just a big mushroom. What do you have to say about news. that, Mr. President? It's fake news, and I never slept with Stormy. But even if I did, stop calling it an affair. We, we, we just one time, we just, that was it. What's an affair? An affair is so like, you're admitting oh, I miss you, you. Oh, but, but I'm you were married, But he was married, right, Kelly? Like, you were married to Melania at the time, so you were cheating on your wife. Correct, It, it never Shana. happened. I said, hypothetically, if it did, it wouldn't be an affair. It was a quickie. But okay. it didn't happen. But if it did, it was a quickie. But it didn't. 
Mix Luna, uh, regarding the Hillary Clinton email scandal, how would you avoid that in the future? Uh, first of all, Hillary Clinton is my hero. And uh, secondly, what it should, I don't even know about this scandal. I don't know what you're even talking about. It sounds like you're just Very similar to President right Trump's wing talking points. And uh, I don't even know why provided. I'm here or why you invited me up on this stage. I've uh, I feel very oppressed and all, all the misogyny and the red. Well, I, I brought you up because I wanted to show the people that, like, unlike misogynist men, I could have a female, an actual vice president that has a voice, that has a vision, that uh, sees on the same. You keep calling me a female. I'm, I'm not a female. I'm asexual. And so what do I, what's the label? I'm confused. A er asexual. A er asexual. Okay. These woke people, they always shoot themselves in the foot. He's trying to help. And she's like, no, you're a man. It's toxic. Da 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 da. Unbelievable. She seems like the type of person in her free time just destroys emails like president, Hillary. Pre Mr. Mr. President, our military has uh, made several efforts to increase, uh, to be more receptive to uh, the woke culture and increase recruitment. How do you, do you think that women should be uh, in the military? Yes or no? I like women. I like women a lot, particularly not you, but I like them. Mr. And president, please answer the question. Well, I'll say absolutely, and I say we'll defeat the woke military, and you know who won't be able to do that? The meatball, okay? I could get it done. He could talk, oh, we need to, ha, ha, ha. The sanctimonious, and he said, oh, he was in the Navy. He was a lawyer in the Navy. He was there. He's a fugazi, there we go. And he was punching numbers. He was selling penny stocks, really, in the Navy. It was like the Wolf of Wall Street. He was like Jonah Hill's character. That's what he did in the Navy. But uh, yeah, I like women. They could fight. I'm not gonna fight. Let the let the women fight very strongly. What would you? We do? need more trans in the military. I agree. Yeah, yeah we think need we do. to have more trans women, trans men. I think that it, that needs to be more an inclusive environment. I really like that Joe Biden is allowing more trans people in the military right now. I love the ads that they're doing. They they um, march. It's really making our military strong to have mm -hmm. trans. And the gay the gay movement, the gay marching, they're very. I'm, I'm, I'm with her 100%. Uh, we also love that uh, Joe Biden brought trans people to the White House and, and, and had a, basically an orgy on the lawn. That yeah. was amazing to oh watch. Oh my God, yeah. With the, that one individual had his, his or her, I don't know uh, how to. I'm not yeah, going to lie, that one looked like a real chick. <laughs> she did. Yeah. I struggled with that. I said, no, you're not supposed to like that. And then my brain was like, you're right. But uh, yeah, which I, 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 do, I do agree like with Donald uh, like, if you're going to go the whole trans route, at least make the effort. A lot of white... Some of them look like they're not even trying. It's like Vincent in a wig. At least yeah. put in some effort. Yeah. If you're like, going to do it. Do you think being, other... Being a woman or a man is a feeling. You don't have to look any certain way. I mean, you could identify as a woman now. You don't even need to do anything. It's just a feeling. If you feel like a woman, you can be a woman. So, and you'd be comfortable with me going in the, in the woman's bathroom? Absolutely. I would love that. I mean, it's more the merrier. Would Donald, would, would you like that if you were in the restroom and... Only people who like me, like Caitlyn. Caitlyn could do whatever he, she, they, them wants. But other people, I don't know. If you like me, you can do whatever you want. That's sort of how I operate. Uh, Mr. President, how would you respond? How I don't would you know handle... why you keep calling him Mr. President. He, he is asked, not the president. You have he asked never, for your pronouns. He has asked, unfortunately, He's never been the president. He was installed by Putin. It's, she wants it's everybody to call her they and them and Z and Zap. And you can't call me something I actually am. These people are sick. Donald yeah, Trump, so sick. Donald Trump, how would you address the current war in Ukraine? Well, I would end it. I, I've been telling people we'd end it in one day. And then I took it down. I said I'd end it in a half hour. And then I said 20 minutes. I would end the war in Ukraine in a quarter of a millisecond. H how would you, how would you do that? Mix Luna, your response. Group text. <laughs> um, I, I, I think that the war in Ukraine. I'd say, I'd. Excuse me, I'm speaking. Putin, the other guy, Zelensky. End it, and it would be, it would be over. Mix uh, Luna and Mr. Oshana, your response? Who's the other guy? Zelensky, Putin, Putin. Who, who's the other? And me. Oh. Personally, I, I think that if we were to be uh, installed into the White House, we, we, we would uh, go, go ahead and take down all of our American flags and put up Ukraine flags and pride flags because the American flag is offensive, but we love the Ukraine flag. In fact, I have several of them flying in front of my house along with pride flags. How do you think other countries respond to uh, one of our biggest political parties uh, hating on our national symbol? Excuse me, what, what did she She's say? saying what, like, what, like how, do you, how do you think other countries look at us when people are talking bad about the flag? Oh, we and shouldn't even be a country anymore. We should be dismantled. Wow.
Okay. Thank, thank you, Mix Luna. All right, so I would like to change uh, change the question to more trending topics. Uh, the Supreme Court just overturned Roe v. Wade after 50 years. What are your thoughts uh, thoughts and feelings about this decision? Uh, we'll start with Mix Luna. Uh, well, I think this is one of the worst things to happen to women and men who can get pregnant. Um, I think that, you know, if I had the opportunity as Donald Trump's mom, I would have aborted him. Donald wow. Trump should have never even been born. If you had a chance to abort Hitler, so you sick. would do it, right? And now he's taken away our ability to have abortions. And, uh, you know, we really need, if I could go back in time and tell his mother, you need to abort Hitler, I would tell her to do that. And now she doesn't even have the right to do that. And it's very upsetting to me that you have caused us uh, women to lose our, our rights. And, and Mr. I, I, do you I, agree? I do. Well, first of all, I didn't know what Roe v. Wade. Every time I hear that word Roe, I'm thinking like Roe, Roe, Roe. Ro, I have no Great idea. Great song. Thank Gently you. down the stream. Yeah. Merrily, 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 merrily. Abortion. Life is but a dream. I thought it was like abortions for you and me. But going back to her point. <gasps> Mr. O'Shauna, please. Well, that's what I, I had no idea. That is Ro, not appropriate Ro, anyway, for this setting. But I do believe, I, I kind of piggyback of what <laughs> she's saying. I'm telling you. His... I think it is. Crowd. I think it's a woman's. It's her body. Well, again, you keep misgendering me. I'm sorry. You, what was it's it again? Oppressive. It's an oppressive. Uh, a air pronoun, a, asexual. A air. Uh, if she was pregnant, it's your body, and it's her choice. I think you would you agree that it's your body, it's your choice. You do whatever you want. Absolutely, it's mm -hmm. my body, it's my choice, and I'm taking it into my hands to get rid of this man, Donald Trump. He is a threat to our democracy, and he should not be allowed to run in this country ever again. What are you and I'm waiting for someone to come and arrest him and put him in an orange jumpsuit and I'll get let, rid I'll of him I'll forever. Let you finish. I'll let you finish. Go ahead. I say, as a patriot, somebody who loves that flag, I'd like her, there it is, I just hugged it. I would say it's her body, America's oh, choice. Mr. Yeah. President, I'm please. I'm so sick of no, Mixed no, 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 Luna. No, 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 Stop. Stop. Oh, 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 for this uh, first uh, pr uh, debate. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, until next Christ. time, have a great night. Can we just please Jesus cut to commercial? Christ. Jesus cut to Christ. commercial. You can't do that. Now. Luna. You can't do that. <laughs> Challenges every day. So we find the experts to teach us. We usually pay a high price for their time. Finally, there is an app that lets you find the expert to help you buy the minute at your own pace. Technology, finance, marketing, planning. So go find the answers in your field and save money. Minect connects you with an expert by the minute.